it's delicious. Suddenly, my attention is caught by 999 messages in WhatsApp chat of young mommies. Oh my gosh, when they have time for texting. I'm thinking and scrolling down. A few minutes later, realizing that there is no yummy cheesecake that I bought to treat myself. I did not understand the taste, I did not understand the whole eating experience because I ate it too fast, I ate it mindlessly. How often such situations happen to you? <laughs> Very often, right? I'm sure you don't remember what you had for lunch last weekend. If you remember, raise your hand. <laughs> Not a lot of you. And actually, according to science.gov research, one third of people prefer eating while having their phone in their hands. Isn't this terrible? And, yeah. and a lot of research and journal articles connect obesity problems with mindless eating. So today we will learn about mindful eating and the benefits of mindful eating by joining me on the journey to a tea institute at Penn State where I used to be an officer for a few years. So now I need two volunteers. Yes, please. One more. Okay. Uh, do we have a chair? Imagine you are in a tea house. Sit here. <laughs> it's a typical Chinese tea house, and here we have two tea samples. You can take, don't eat it, <laughs> just smell and look at the leaves. And imagine you are really hungry right now. <laughs> So, so what we were doing at Penn State, the Institute at Penn State, we were learning Chinese and Japanese tea ceremonies, and we were studying the chemistry, the properties, the history of tea. And the smell and the appearance of tea leaves revealed a lot about the journey these tea leaves traveled to your cups. We, uh, next what we were doing, Pouring hot water on top of these tea leaves. So let's brew the new one. By the way, did you guess what types of tea these are? Green, green and black. <laughs> not, not quite not quite correct. <laughs> So, one of them is black, uh, black or red tea. The correct way to say red tea, the Hong Pao. Yes, and we brewed oolong, milky oolong. Yeah. So, by the smell and the appearance of these tea leaves, we could tell what type of tea this is, what age, uh, from what part of China or Taiwan it is, in what conditions it was growing and withered. In a few minutes, you can try this milky oolong and slowly. <laughs> One sip of tea can reveal a lot and you can taste thousands of notes from uh, sugary, from earthy, sour taste to some maybe flowery notes. And how people drink tea in Kazakhstan? <laughs> Yeah, we put a lot of sugar, we put a lot of milk, and we're holding a cup of tea in one hand and a piece of chocolate in another. So what's the point of drinking the tea? This example, I think you can You can smell it now. The smell changed. So mindful eating or drinking is Enjoying food, giving 100% of your attention to it. And it has thousands of benefits. I'll mention just a few. The first one is better digestion. When you eat mindfully, when you eat slowly, your food is broken down into tiny pieces and it's easier 
for your body to absorb all the good nutrients. And another reason, another benefit is that you stop overeating. You finally tune to your body signals and you understand that small portions are enough. You don't need to eat uh, or drink like seven cups of tea <laughs> to enjoy it. Only one sip probably will be enough to understand the taste, to enjoy it. And you will finally stop having cravings for crunchy, crispy, salty, super sweet stuff. And this will help you also to lose some extra pounds. And a lot of people are actually suffering from obesity and other health problems. So now I would like you all to take one raisin, not because I'm greedy, <laughs> just because I want to teach you mindfulness lesson. So take one raisin and taste it. Look at it. Think where it's coming from. How long did it take to uh, come to your hands? And you may close your eyes and chew it slowly. You don't need 5, 10, 20 raisins to enjoy it. One is enough. And on this note, I would like to conclude. Today we learned a little bit about mindfulness, mindful eating. And I hope that at least this week you will be eating without having your phone in your hands. <laughs> Enjoy your food. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Did you try tea? Thank you very much, Camila, for uh, presenting very interesting project. Uh, by the way, our volunteers, did you like her speech? Did you like the tea? <laughs> yes. That's great. And also, another thing, don't uh, forget to write a feedback to Camila, uh, because I think she, today she presented a very interesting and persuasive speech. Um, and if you write something, just give it to him. Now, uh, let me announce our fourth speaker.